So while the pictures that we are seeing and the descriptions we're hearing are heartbreaking, we know that this is not a completely new policy. So here to talk about that is Ernest Istook. He's a former congressman and currently a lecturer at Utah Valley University. Thanks so much for joining you us. Bet, and Happy you, to be here. You've done a lot of research sure, for us with me. over the last little bit. This is not necessarily a new law that we're seeing here enforced at the border. No, this law has been on the books at least since 1950, and there was another law that was on the books before then. Every country in the world has a law that says you don't come into our country without authorization, without permission. Illegal entry to a country is illegal everywhere in the world. It's a criminal offense uh, in the United States. And the whole situation is, if you break the law, then you, it's not a matter of removing your family from you, we're removing you from your family when you go to jail, whether it's temporarily or you're sentenced uh, for something. Across America right now, there are over two and a half million children who have a parent who is incarcerated. Do we say we cannot incarcerate that parent, we cannot enforce the law because it separates kids and parents? Well, then why do you have the law? Well, if you, you have say Department of you're, Child you're Services immune from child, that's you're, doing you're immune that right from now. Enforcement, enforcement of the law if you've got a kid. Okay, so let's talk about what's happening at the border. Obviously, yes. terrible pictures, hearing mm -hmm. about so many children separating from their family. Right. But this has been happening for, the separation has been happening for years. You did some research during the Barack Obama administration. Mm -hmm. The numbers were smaller, but it was still happening. And it was still significant numbers. Uh, every year under the Obama administration, approximately 70,000 people were prosecuted under this same law, uh, which meant that they were being separated from their families, 70,000 people a year. Now, that was about a fifth of the people because the others said, I'll just go back voluntarily rather than acquire a criminal record uh, in the United States. Well, the zero tolerance policy is not aimed at removing kids from parents. It's aimed at utilizing, well, enforcing the law. And uh, you break the law, you're going to be prosecuted. If you don't want to be separated from your family, don't break the law. So now that we have Senator Orrin Hatch leading the cause, senators writing letters, representatives trying to talk to Donald Trump, the president about what to do, what do you foresee with your experience and knowing how sure. Washington works is the resolution to this situation? Well, first of all, you've got a media stampede that's been generated, okay? Rather than saying this is the natural consequence of the criminal justice system when our laws are enforced, that it can pull families apart, they say, oh, your policy is to separate kids from their parents. So right now, a lot of people are running scared that they're going to be accused of being anti-family because they believe in enforcing our laws, uh, that they'll be accused of not being politically correct if uh, you know this has a detrimental effect on kids. But no matter what the law is, whether it's illegal entry to the country, uh, holding up a convenience store, selling dope, whatever it may be, people who break the law get separated from their families. And if instead you say, well, let's just focus on the kids, let's look at the consequence on the kids and say, therefore, the parents are immune from prosecution, well, all of our laws fall apart. Okay, thank you so much, Ernest Istook here. Former congressman giving us his insight, also a current lecturer at Utah Valley University. For more information on what they're doing there in their Center for National Security Studies, you can go online at goodforutah.com. All right, coming up right here. On